Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. As I put this together, I am in that zone. It is New Year's Day. And I hope this is the threshold of 365 days, or is it 366? Is it a leap year? Gosh, I should have done my homework. Anyway, however many days of hope, possibility, potential. Those are powerful, good words. I was reading something in a devotion about even if you're in the midst of struggle or a storm or challenges or, or a difficult time or stress, instead of giving into that and focusing on the negative and the what ifs, hope, 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 hope is a powerful thing. You can live in hope that things will get better, that they will improve. But above and beyond all that, that God is still in control. That's what I keep hoping. He doesn't give me the playbook and say, hey, here's what I'm gonna do and here's when I'm going to do it. <laughs> I don't have that inside track. That's why they call it faith. But at any rate, um, just to introduce uh, the basic housekeeping things, Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. I do invite you to click like, share, subscribe, and keep going on this journey with me. Now, usually on Fridays for the last couple of times, I was doing a Freaky Friday uh, series, a uh, brief series of the whole navigational aspect of dealing with a family member or loved one with um, dementia and how, you know, that just turns things upside down. But because Christmas fell on a Friday and New Year's also falls on a Friday, I'm going to give you a break and just kind of focus on the nuances of waking up, hopefully out of a fog and say, you know what, dust this off. You know, we do this sometimes with like, um, I guess starting a diet. Oh, it's Monday or I'll start a new one next Monday or whatever. You know, we have certain days that we assign that kind of thing. Well, the same holds true for a new year. This is gonna be a new year. This is gonna be a great year. So I hope you will not blow the chance to do that, to say, you know what? January 1, that is a starting point. Don't hold off and, and waste the opportunity and say, oh, now I gotta wait till next January 1. That's an awful long time to be languishing. So no pressure. I'm not suggesting, oh gosh, today you must make every moment count. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say whatever it is that you need to wade in gradually to do. You know, maybe you've made a list. And even if you have, let's say you've made a list of even five things or 25 things. Still, every journey begins with a single step. You know, you don't get an all-you-can-eat buffet and try to, you know, whatever. I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but if you walk into a big theme park like a Disneyland or Disney World kind of scenario and you look around and it's like, oh my gosh, there's only so many hours in the day. How can I have all this fun? Overwhelmed. No, we don't want to do that. You don't want to sit there and go, oh, I've got so much to do. I've got so much I want to do. So much I want to accomplish. Manageable pieces. Bite-sized pieces. What can you do in this moment? What can you do right now? What can you do to start this process? And hopefully make this one of your best years yet, just by your attitude. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do a single thing. You can turn back over and go back to sleep if you want. Be gentle with yourself. At the very, very, very least, just have your attitude in such a way that you're going to be at peace within. You can't outrun yourself. Wherever you go, there you are. So it's not about resolutions. Although resolutions are nice and wonderful. Really, what you're doing when you have a resolution, let you in on a little secret, you are resolving. You are putting forth your intention to do things that will help you, that will make life better for you. It's as simple as that. Simple, but not easy. At the very least, I do hope that today is a threshold you cross into exuberance and happiness and joy and peace and, and the things that you want. Things that are intangible. Those are the ones that are priceless. Those are the ones that you cannot buy. And that's ultimately what we're all seeking anyway, right? So, make the most of today. Tomorrow, get up and do it again. <laughs> anyway, 
Happy 2021 to you. God bless. I hope you'll keep tuning into my channel. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Bye.